It was not by chance that this struggle came to be. The blame falls squarely upon my shoulders for giving evil the chance it needed, and therefore fulfilling an ancient prophecy. Raiden's Earthrealm champions had failed to stop the Deadly Alliance from fully resurrecting the mummified army of the Dragon King. In the end, only Raiden himself stood between Earthrealm and total destruction. Defying the Elder God's wishes, he alone challenged Quan Chi and Shang Tsung in mortal combat, Earthrealm's last hope for freedom. the two sorcerers, and it seemed as though victory was at hand. But the combined might of Quan Chi and Shang Tsung proved to be overwhelming, even for a Thunder God. Raiden was defeated. The Deadly Alliance had won. Their victory was short-lived. As suspicion and lust for power overcame both Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, the former allies turned on each other. The deadly alliance was no more. defeated Shang Tsung and reveled in his conquest. But it is said that there is only one true ruler of Outworld. And that ruler had returned. Filled. The Dragon King had indeed returned to Outworld to reclaim his army and impose his dominance. Death awaited all who stood in his way. was formed out of desperation. Sworn enemies join forces to combat a greater threat. Raiden began to realize that even their combined might was not enough to defeat the Dragon King. Only one chance left. Raiden's sacrifice was in vain, for the blast had little effect on the Dragon King. Now Onaga has what he needs to shape the realms as he sees fit. I was the fool who brought him this power. Only I can destroy this threat, born of deception.
Liu Kang's friends had been freed, Onaga had been defeated, and the realms were secure once more. But there was one battle that remained. Liu Kang's body had been used by some unknown force as a tool of destruction. It had left death in its wake and needed to be stopped. The chaos would end in Earthrealm. The fight raged with neither combatant able to best the other when a jolt of energy crackled through them both. Liu Kang's nerves blazed like fire and he felt a rush of air fill his lungs for the first time since his death. He was Liu Kang once more, protector of Earthrealm, champion of mortal combat.